This video is supported in part by Retro Days, a place for nostalgia nerds to gather, share memories, chat, and engage. Go to RetroDays.com or check their YouTube channel linked below. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John, I am a Gen X Grown Up, and I want to thank you for clicking through to this video. A couple weeks ago, I was very excited to see that My Arcade had posted for order on their website this new 40th anniversary Pac-Man microplayer. Now, I have already reviewed many of these My Arcade units, including the old Pac-Man that came out a couple of years ago now, I guess, but this one tends to be something a little bit special. While it doesn't purport to be part of their new premium line that included that awesome Space Invaders and the Contra that came out, it is a 40th anniversary unit. It has this gold accent T-molding, it has the lenticular sides, a lot of promise. And so I asked in a video last week to our viewers what questions you would like to see answered in this very review. Many of you responded, for which I'm quite grateful, so throughout this review, I'm going to be sure to answer your questions. And so we've got plenty to do here. We're gonna open this thing up, take a look at that beautiful exterior, more importantly, power it up, take a look at what it's got on the inside, what that gameplay is like, and finally find out if this is worth your 40 to 45 bucks or not. Let's quit beating around the bush and get to it right now. Don't you know that you're a grown up? No gates, no punts. Not a lot if you're a grown up. The first thing you notice right off the bat is that gorgeous, bright, gold T-molding, uh, gold joystick and buttons, all the gold highlights in there for the cabinet, and of course that lenticular side. And the reason you can see all that is they have foregone the typical My Arcade box for this completely transparent box. So you can really showcase this. And why wouldn't you? I mean, you wanna show this off on the shelf. But if you compare it to the other Pac-Man release from My Arcade, you can see the old style box where you used to have kind of details about the game, that's not there, or the original artwork. Instead, they've moved all that around to the back uh, they still have information, game history, and all that, and the details about the game is visible, but they just put all that in the back because the important thing here is how gorgeous this guy is. It looks like we have kind of inside maybe a sticker, I think, in there, and I'm noticing at the bottom, like, this almost looks like a stand, possibly, maybe, that would be new. So let's crack into this and find out what we can. All right, here she comes. Oh, boy. All right. Now, let's set this aside for a second and see. So this most certainly is a stand in the box. I don't know that it was intended to be a display stand, but certainly you could use it as such. So that's kind of nice. Uh, so that's in the box as part of it. So the little 40th anniversary Pac-Man card. I'm not convinced it's a sticker. I don't think so. It has some sticky stuff on it, but this doesn't appear to be a backing that removes. But it's a really nice kind of rigid cardboard 40th anniversary card that you could clearly attach to something because it has that lenticular Pac-Man on it. So why wouldn't you? We also appear to have a ridiculous 40, 53 page instruction manual for how to play Pac-Man. I can't wait to throw that away. We won't be needing that. So let's take a moment to just admire this. Oh, the lenticular side is just, that's, I would have never thought to put that on a cabinet, but that's a really nice touch. Of course, all that shiny gold just grabs your eye. Uh, I'm gonna come back to the controls in a second. There's a hint here that I wanna talk about, but first let's continue the tour around here, lenticular side on this as well. And ready for this? Bam! A fingerprint completely gold back as well. Zing! <laughs> Shining right in your eyes. Now on the back, similarly, we have uh, volume up and down. We have a headphone jack. We have the battery compartment. And you could power this with micro USB. Look at all the fingerprints. I mean, it's just a total magnet. Now, around front though, let's take a look at what we've got. We know we have the coin door that's power. Let's look at these controls though. Do you see it yet? I certainly do. Obviously we have that four way joystick with the screw on, screw off bat top. And then we have some buttons. No need for a fire button, but look here. Yes, we have reset. Yes, we have start coin. If there's a coin button, that is a strong, strong indication that this is probably a genuine ROM. Man, I'm looking forward to finding out. Before we get into that gameplay and find out if my suspicion is correct though, let's answer a few of those viewer questions. So first up, Whiskey Pop had asked me in the comments of that other video whether or not this lenticular side felt cheap or something that would wear out and go away over time. And I have to say that it actually feels, of course it's lenticular, so it has a little bit of ridged pattern to it. If you look at it edge on, you can see that it's a very thick decal, very much like that card that had the logo on it and it feels like it's very resilient. I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. 
And also while we're here, both Charlie Mahoney and Alki the Clown were asking about this gold-plated controller and whether or not it was real gold, obviously not, not for th this price, whether or not it was metal or anything special about it. And as far as I can tell here, I can tell you that this is just the exact same joystick that was on the previous Pac-Man. It's just got that kind of gold-plated color that you can put on plastic to make it look really nice and shiny but there's nothing special about it. It feels exactly like all the other joysticks on all of the previous My Arcade units. Now it's time to throw some batteries in this and find out exactly what we're working with. Before I do though, take a quick look. This is a little misleading. If in fact this is a genuine ROM, look at the imagery that's on here. This does not look like regular Pac-Man. This would be the first time that this fake overlay did not perfectly represent what was inside of the cabinet. But I mean, look where the score is, look where the high score is, look where the fruit is. I mean, none of that is representative of real Pac-Man, if you will. But we're going to peel that off and find out for ourselves. All right, 40th anniversary Pac-Man, here we come. Oh, okay, well, I didn't see the boot animation, but maybe, I mean, there's the one up, a high score, and the credit down there. All right, credit, that's a good sign. Let's put in a coin and see. Whoa, what is, what is that noise? Oh no. Oh no. Pac Man 2020. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's start the game and see. I mean, first, okay, I'm sorry, before I start, even just that sound, if you're going to write your own ROM, the sound of putting in a coin in Pac Man, I mean, listen to this. It should sound like this. That's part of it. That's so part of it. I'm, okay. All right. Well, let's see what else we got. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Sounds are so far off. Why would you... I, oh, the death sound? Okay. If... <sighs> Or right, what about eating a power pellet? Oh! The gameplay is really nice. It's, it's, I mean, I don't know about accurate, but I mean, cornering is nice. It controls well. That joystick that my arcade has always had is working fine. It's almost like they couldn't get the rights to use the correct sounds or something, and they're like, eh, this is good enough. If you're celebrating the 40th anniversary of Pac-Man, why would you disrespect it with this poor, poor simulation? If you turn off the sound, it's actually a decent version of Pac-Man. But again, sound is such a big part of the original arcade experience. Why would you... Oh, that's the extra man noise? It's like a parallel universe Pac-Man. Everything about it is just a little bit wrong. This is not the way to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Pac-Man. Look, if, if you're not an arcade purist and you don't care that it doesn't sound exactly right, yes, this looks and feels like Pac-Man. It sounds like garbage. I'll finish this level just to see... The intermission. Just to hear the awful music that I assume is coming my way. Oh! Oh! Ouch! Ow! My heart, my ears, my soul. <sighs> really, my arcade? You have the ROM. We saw it in the Namco Arcade. We know you have it. We know you can do it for the 40th anniversary. Come on. <sighs> okay, I'm back. I'm calm. I took a breather. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Okay, let's get into some more of these viewer questions. Garibaldi's Games also asked, how is the gameplay? And as I think you saw here, if you don't mind playing without the sound, this is not a terrible version of Pac-Man. It is not the real version. Control is good. 
every pixel looks good every bitmap looks good the colors of the dots are a little off that could just be the screen i'm not gonna nitpick that another great question that came from ethan and shiro the doggo hey do the high scores save that would be a nice kind of pull out of this nosedive if in fact they did give us that so let's see i've already got the high score because i uh, yeah so let's uh let's just kill our pac men i have way too many of them but let's uh let's go and die and we will find out if in fact this high score saves for you okay so i have that pathetic uh, what seven thousand point score great okay so let's power it off and back on <gasps> come on all right not displaying maybe i have to be in a game let's start the game seven thousand something i had zero score zero score if you Come on, 40th anniversary Pac-Man! What are you doing? <sighs> okay, so I've given myself a day to calm down since I shot that gameplay footage. At the time, I was... was I mad? Was I certainly upset? You know what I think I was, more than anything, disappointed? let down. My arcade didn't deliver anything here short of what they promised. It is Pac-Man. It is special because of kind of the exterior. I get all that. But if you're going to go to the effort of celebrating the 40th anniversary of this beloved, iconic game, truly, and you already have a Pac-Man on the market in the same form factor that already isn't the original arcade ROM. To then put another non-genuine version in here, and one that, for my money, is far inferior even to the NES ROM that's in the first version of this My Arcade Microplayer, it's disrespectful to Pac-Man for me. I mean, you're literally just getting some more money out of the franchise without actually giving players exactly what it is they remember, that they love from 40 years ago, the reason you have a 40th anniversary to celebrate at all. And that really just rubs me the wrong way. Uh, it, this isn't a bad unit. It is a bad unit for being something labeled in celebration of the 40th anniversary of Pac-Man. And that's very much how I feel about it. Now, before I do my summary and ultimately give a rating for this little unit, just a couple more viewer questions to answer. Escape Your Cubicle asked me if I would compare this to the Basic Fun number 14 Pac-Man. Was it better or worse than that? And I would say that as it stands right now, that Basic Fun Pac-Man is far superior to this one just in the immersion of the gameplay. It's still not the genuine ROM, but at least the sounds are great and the simulation is great. The custom version of Pac-Man in that is certainly superior to this as far as I'm concerned. And finally, both You Like Jazz 64 and T2 asked, what is in this that justifies the additional cost? You can get a Pac-Man by My Arcade for 25 bucks, but this one at 40 list, 45 by the time it gets to your door, where's that extra money going? Is that extra 20 bucks really worth it? What are you getting? I would have to say absolutely not. There's nothing in here that's worth that additional 15 to 20 dollars. Look, you can get an original Pac-Man, 25 bucks, same manufacturer, it's the NES ROM. The only thing extra you're getting here is you're getting that gold molding, you're getting that shiny gold back, if that's a thing that you enjoy. You're getting that really cool lenticular side, I'm not minimizing that, but all of that is window dressing. Unless what you want is just a gorgeous display piece that you never intend to put batteries in, I don't see any reason to own this at all. If you have the original one, keep that one and it's fine. The only reason to want this, literally, is you want to put it on display. And even that is not worth the extra 20 bucks. Now, I know there will be people who watch this who are thinking, here goes John again being super nitpicky about these old arcade games. What's the big deal? Just because the sound was a little weird. And I would argue that the audio-visual component of these games is among the most important parts of the games. At what point does it stop being Pac-Man? Okay, well, the sounds are wrong. Is it still Pac-Man? The pixels are not the right count. Is it still Pac-Man? Every time you take a step away from the original, it's less Pac-Man than what you remember. And for that to be the case in a 40th anniversary celebration from a company who has already released other units that have original arcade ROMs, and we know they could, and they chose not to here, 
I no. I it's it's just it's disappointing. It's too bad. So for this My Arcade 40th anniversary Pac-Man microplayer, two tokens out of five is my ultimate rating. Gorgeous on a shelf if that's all you want, but if you're looking for something to celebrate the 40th anniversary of this beloved, iconic, amazing, groundbreaking arcade game, there are way better products that you should put your money toward than this one. I really hope you found something to enjoy in this video. I thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, you made it to the end. If you liked this video, the best way to say thanks is to watch one more. Here are a couple suggestions that you just might enjoy. And if you love our content, maybe consider becoming a Patreon supporter by following the link on screen. Unacceptable for grown-ups. Your dinner cannot just be french fries.